All right, so today I want to carry on from the completion of the initial set of functionality for the binary importer to go ahead and implement some refinements and improvements that I've had in mind uh, that I kind of gathered gather together while actually doing the initial implementation. So the biggest one was to change from doing file system operations or file operations like fseek, fread, and just memory map the file when you first create the importer and just keep the memory map for, keep the file mapped in memory and then discard it once you're done. So there was a little bit of a hint on this when doing the find external file where I would create the memory map, I would just kind of give out the managed memory. What I want to do is just have the, the, the file mapped the entire time that this importer exists. And then eventually free it when like there's no other references to it sometime in the future. So to begin with, it, of course, is I need to map the file and keep it with them with the importer. So to begin with oh, managed memory, um, memory map file. We need that. I need to be able to destroy it when I'm done with it. Oh, managed memory document use the import. Order. memory map file that's great and do on the importer side changes so result set result equals fo create memory map file p file path and memory map file okay oh manage memory Map file. Starts like that. If result dot value not equal to total success, then results will do that. And the other part of what I, the improvements for reading, anyways, is to be able to just use memory, just just use the raw mapped, just use the raw memory I have available. So rather than having to like, you know, F read and stuff, I could just instead, let's say binary file header star P header equals P file data. We just say, hey, you know, this is a, um, something like that, where I'm going to have P file data. File size, manage memory get data, memory file. Something like this. So P header equals it's not a pointer, it's just that. I want a copy of it in the structure to have it somewhat local whenever we access the file, yeah. Um, hmm. For the moment, anyways. First of all, let's check that this is... Okay, dot memory map file equals memory map file. That's great. I want to move this. This doesn't have to be out here. This can be in here. Path string that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so first of all, make sure that these this works, where I can just like access the memory straight up instead of having to do every stuff. I don't have to do more calls to the kernel or anything outside of this. I could just literally just point, do some calculations in the program, and just quickly point directly where I need to. So p header fifty six nine two eight ending with 174.544, and the file header, which we read from it the old-fashioned way, 56928, 174.544. Yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for. This is going to make my life a whole lot easier. Um, almost. It becomes that. And I've already gone ahead and created the files in a binary format. So I could just hit F5, just see if it actually works or not. And I don't need that. Bam, it's all there. 
including all the names. Yes, yes, and group list stuff. Yes, and yes. Great. Perfect. I don't need that. I don't need that. <clears throat> Great. That's one part. Again, that is, yeah, exporting it. So I can just, you know, do SHA 512. Uh, data A and test. Make sure that they're still the same. They are. Fantastic. <clears throat> next. Next, next, next. Is to... Now that I have a memory map file con for the whole time, I no longer have to do this stuff here. Let's set that there. Equals that. That's great. Equals that. Get rid of this memory map file. This no longer the Every time I go into one of these functions, I'm going to have to get the file data and the file set, you know, the file data pointer and the file size every time. So why don't I just like have it part of the top structure from the very beginning, right? Say a standard byte and T file size. Okay, we do that. Let's just say, you know. Yeah, whatever. Do that. Standard, uh, sorry, void star star. That. Okay. 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 Go back down to here. We no longer need these because we can just. Standard bytes. Data pointer, p data. I'll just say p data equals p importer, p file data, bam, like that. So that's a start. Star. And then we just say, hey, p data moves up to that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, and then this becomes e, um, importer memory map file. That's great. This map file is no longer there. That's like that. That's great. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's make sure that's actually going to work. Seemingly, it does. Any errors? No. Let me also just double check that I'm not leaking anything beyond just the stuff for the graphics. That's fine. Okay. So that is been converted over. This will create a... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the offset into the file. That's expected. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Next. Mm, I won't do dependencies quite yet. Let's see something that's smaller. This looks fairly all right. Okay. E data. Data size. We go to where this is. So the importer file data plus the offset. We have this. Okay. 
And we're doing entity and entity for that one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me uh, save. Or stage ones that I know work already. That's this stuff. So let's, yeah, all that's left is this section. Right. Don't need this. This is all gone. This equals star of OID index pointer where the data is currently pointing at. Then what I need to do, uh, since every used to move uh, basically the file, the pointer in the file or the reading cursor or whatever around by automatically by however much we read, but we have to do that manu manually now. So p data equals size of index. So, uh, sorry, un32t star data uh, plus equals size of un32t star. No, just that. So that's these two dealt with. Now, this is very nice. So now I don't even have to read this stuff and malloc. I don't have to create another allocation because it's already in memory perfectly. So what I can just do is o id index const star of e data. Just that. And then I do that. I don't need to do the three. I don't need this. I don't need all this. Yeah. Entity list is correct. Resource list is correct. We have the entity group list is correct. Right? For, yes. Amazing. That, okay, actually, I want to see how much of uh, savings I am getting from this. I want to... Um... To God bolt. Okay. I think this will work, right? Yeah. Okay. So I need to have, let's say, void something where I say, like, you no know, standard. Right? Whatever. No, no, no. Not even standard by. We'll just say you in e, blah, blah, blah. Data size, which I don't even actually need. Um, okay. <laughs> 132, next index. 32, E star. What would I even do? <sighs> Copy that. Just paste it in here. We'll just kind of do that. That and that and that. Whoop, don't save that, please. that test one include that I guess 
that equals this. Versus, what did I have before? I've had a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we have all this stuff. So we don't do the return stuff. We don't do this anymore. Extern, which takes in the before T. Or T star. That let's say we just you know move by that much, uh, you thirty four T. Do that, got that, that, that. Don't need that anymore. Next turn. Okay, we got that. Void whatever. Okay. Uh, let's say dash O two, shall we? So test one becomes just that. Technically, I need that. It's doing some funky stuff. And then it just jumps into that. This does all of that plus whatever's going on inside of several functions, such as the fread function or... Well, the fread's actually kind of okay. Oh, no, call fread there. Call free, call fread, call f close. So I don't know what's... Cause, so it's going even further. Whereas this is just like, bam. This is a huge, this is way better, way better. Way less code, a lot simpler. I mean, like conceptually, you need to have an understanding of what's going on in the memory, but you know, once you do, it's nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's get rid of, we don't need data sites, we don't need this, any of this. We just need the data and then the indexes. Because this is already offset. Yeah, so get rid of those, get rid of these. Lovely. And it runs, right? And it's correct, and it's correct. Wow. Big, big, big improvements. Do that, add that, stage that, please. Moving on. Ah, reading these editor names. Okay. So I don't need this, and I don't need that, because I could just start where 
it begins. So P So we don't need to seek, we're already there. Just need to do for M num names, number of names. Okay. That P data plus equals uh, index. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So this is going to just equal star of ID index star of wherever p data is hiding at right now times those so do that if that equals that then we want to say hey you know this wait hold on offset plus okay hold on not quite Star P data raw data. Let's just say let's say something like that. P raw data. Maybe you want to say like you know kind of establish something like that. Okay, P data equals that. We're going to move that around. It starts there, moves up. Request data offset equals star of P data. P star P data. And then we're out of here. Otherwise, P data plus equals. P. We go pass. So now we say, hey, we found it. Get the contents. So P data equals P raw data plus, whoops, plus what was it? Plus this, plus that. Plus that. So first things first is that equals R uh, E so that of E data ah, and this is the mem copy. Okay. Mem copy into P name. Um, sorry, destination, source, and then the number of bytes. Name length. That. Name length. P name, P data. Da, 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 da. Okay. I think almost. So the index, not the P file. P file is not being opened. We don't need this anymore. It's gone. Yeah. So names offset. Okay, hold on. So let's 
So yeah, T importer, T file data plus the offset into that, number of names, yeah. Give that a go. It's all going too well. All right, that's another section done. Import state data or that's pretty a big one. We've got a smaller one maybe. Already got that. Actually, I wonder how much it's already shrunk. <clears throat> About 40, 50 lines. Nice. Okay. Let's do this one. Resource create info. So we get this. We don't need to do the file anymore because we're just going to go straight to the binary key, which means right here. P... Uh, file data. Plus this. That's that. <clears throat> we got that do the key length as well that okay and then we got a similar thing going on here. Index equals that. That's great. Key length. Sorry. The index. Yeah, the number. Key resize. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I know what the length is. So, and I'm sitting where the key is supposed to be. Already. So key equals standard string of one, two, three. There's got to be one that allows me to do that times size, right? String? No, no. No. Construct string initialize for character array. Source of character array. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This one here. <clears throat> star star, uh, which is sitting up key data times key length. Like that. Okay, next. Do 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 do. Key data equals. The importer file data plus this. We seek to the next section. Hmm. So we're down to here. What are we doing here? Buffer. Oh, buffer for that. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to do this anymore because we can just pass this right at wherever we are. And they just increase by the size of that.
uh, this equals, I don't know, eight. That's what we're looking for. That, we just say P data. Dun, dun, dun. These are gone. Desired data offset will be become um, thirty two star great. Technically these are all consts, aren't they? They should all be consted. Um okay, I'll do that after. This e data. I moved I moved the data up, pointer up, move that. Mm-hmm. Otherwise we move it up anyways. That okay now I need to do this again where we say P data equals P importer file data plus these. The neat thing of this, is, of course, like a lot of these offsets are basically going to be compiled down pretty nicely as well. So it's just like, it'll have like, like an offset table of things to put where. And 16T star. Oh. Yeah, move that one. Yep. D data. Da, 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 da. T. About that, that's great. Uh -huh. I don't know the size of this. And I don't need to read this anymore either. Do I? 32, 32. So wherever P data is, is basically the start of the buffer stuff, which means I don't need this. I don't need this. I could just say, hey, you know, wherever. I am. That's it. You're good to go. I don't actually need. Oh yeah, P data. Yeah, no, no, no. That's right. So again, saving stuff. Big savings if it works. And it bloody well does. Check we're not uh, leaking anything. No memory leaks. Just the usual ones. Great. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so where do I have file stars? Dependencies. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. fine. Um, This thing is gone. Equals importer of the file data plus that. Only that this becomes uh, 
Ginga. We got that. White's left. Mana sequence that. Okay. This is uh, looking a bit weird. Um, so we did that. The next thing we're looking for is down here. We move that board. So we're, yeah, we're here. Doing per group thing plus I hold on. Whoa, hold on. P dependency groups equals null. Oh right, because it's passed in from elsewhere. equals the data that equals that data ID group okay Next one, and then we have reading, copying the file. <clears throat> okay, what's going on here? I'm, ju I'm just copying, yeah, mem copy. Okay. Really, is there no other p file? I thought there would have been one down here. Okay, whatever. See how that that is not uh, correct. Okay. At what point is it having trouble? So. Tendency data offset, which was zero, right? No, it's not. What's at zero? I don't know what's at zero anymore. Oh, right. It's after this structure itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Name's length is 18. Okay. So we do that. We come back through. We're doing 18, right? Hmm. Oh, right, right, right. I need to... Do this. <clears throat> I need to move the, the pointer for that, the next round through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the dependency information is good. This is a bit weird still. I want to go back over this again, but for this stage, it's looking all right. So that leaves what I got off final star. Three, 
for so I've got one more which is the import state data which is this big old one right here so all right So I was just even start. P data equals that file data plus whatever's going on here. Great. That's great. I've got that one. Now I want to do what's going on with the FSeq. I need to P data. Plus the editor names plus that plus that. Okay, string length equals that. And then we F3 the Buffer, which is then passed in through that, which I don't have to do anymore. No, I do because I'm not exporting the null character. Oh, I hate myself. For now, key data was moved. That's great. So this will be moved. Um, so that's that first section. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that quite so quickly. Uh, put that back. Yes, make sure the first section's working. <laughs> then we'll move on to the second section. Seemingly, all the entities are there. The data is okay. Good. Let's yes, okay, stage that. P data equals file plus Got that. So what we're doing the binary key stuff again. Okay. That. If there's no keys, then there's nothing no point to the rest of this at all either. So do I have at least is full result at least exist at this point or is it something that happens after where is this from where are you created you created here uh oh imx binary success there was nothing to import so we're we're done here otherwise this like that and 16 you went 16 again here we got the key length again I'm pretty sure I don't have the uh, those things done so, but I do have a key from somewhere else, right? Q 
Nope. Really. I have it somewhere. I know I did this. Resource. Create info. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Let's not quite do that. It is actually a function call, even though it's technically the initialization. Actually, no, let's just kind of stick with that. It is the initialized constructor initializations. We kind of call it that. So he equals that. Equals that. What's that? Okay. So we do that a bunch of times, then we're getting down to the actual data. So again, I don't actually need this. That equals and that, which is P data, whatever that is right now. That all goes away. Okay. Wait, hold on. P index sixteen. Sixteen, then we've got thirty-two here. Yeah. So I've got going on here. P buffer data size. Okay, again, I don't actually need this other buffer down here. This is just gone. I don't need to bother with that because What I want to do after this is say p data equals that technically. And this is just that. This needs to be moved down to here, so. Okay. Again, I'm not actually closing, I wasn't closing all these P, these files, like I should have been. Which is not, oh, not quite, okay. 16. So what was going on? Key index of zero. Okay. This is entity per component. Right, right, right. Because there's multiple. So I need to. It's P data. Size of 28. Okay. And then what I was doing was position 3D. So that's 28 bytes. That, that. Okay. So where was I? Where did I fail? Here. If, why am I here? On, what am I reading exactly? Mm hmm.
I was doing the data A. Okay, I was trying to import the data A, the one entity that there is. Okay. All right. It's cute. There's two types. I couldn't find it. Or what was I looking for? Key index 13. Okay, that was very wrong. Okay, this will be index of one. I know that, right? So at least I'm good at this point, right? I hope. Three. One and two. Yeah, one and two recycle. Three is the thing and four is outside. So this is correct. So we're good at this point. We're at this point we're still good. So we move down, we say, hey, you know. Advance the data pointer by however much we read, which was eight. I say there's a component count of two objects, that's great. I uh, say P data is moved up. It's the random. It was. It's what is it? The render state and position. That's correct. Yeah. Going through two. So first of all, key index zero. Making sure it's the right size. E5 to, yeah. That's reduced by that. Process size is correct. Okay. So now we're here. P data. P index becomes one. That's right. Data size becomes 32. Which is how much size we got left? Not quite. Or 40. Something in here is screwed up. Close you. Okay. To offset. 16. Okay. F0, otherwise it's 16. We advance by 16 down. We did the keys. Thirty-two. 16, 32, and then we're here. We would have read up to data size. Total data size would have been up there. We just moved that down there. He should not that should not matter. We did move it up from that. One, two, and then we have a Okay, very bad. Okay, not quite. An extra eight bytes. Where the okay, I'm, I. Yeah. 
here. Hmm. There we go. I got some weird stuff going on with this. But, oh, that should mean I can give it a key file, though. Not you. You. All by itself, none. File, gone. Lovely. And is there like an F read? Let's see. Fantastic. How much do I save? Yeah, about 50, 70, 65 lines or so. Code overall. I'll take it. A lot less calls elsewhere. Very nice. The only thing I'm really holding on to is file system now, isn't it? And string. String, key equals string, add key, move it around, yeah, yeah. I can add, oh, no, 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 no. I'm using it only in a reading context, aren't I? So I can just do that. Almost. Or is it just not going to work? Yeah, it will. So I don't even have... So I have even less copying of strings and stuff. I just have po more pointers to locations in memory anyways. Okay, what else have we got for standard string? Like, just by itself. Just that. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. R okay. What I probably want to do now is importing component data is a one large thing in a function. So that's not really something I can want to do. But what I'm thinking of is to get the key map for the resource information, since that is accessed almost randomly. Just have this permanently as part of the file struct uh, data, like up here. And just parse this at the beginning of the file, basically. We have them that stuff. We have like resource key map. No, no, no. Hold on. Because um, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Because it's on a per file basis. Okay. No, no. This does work. I was just thinking. Um, uh, I was just thinking, like, oh, well, no, like, because functionality could be added or removed, so, like, what it can point to will change, but it doesn't actually deal with that. It's just the in it's the internal file index to a string view. That's it. That's all that this is. 
So I don't even have to worry about that because the, the conversion is done later at runtime, like when we actually get down to here, to about here, here, through the resource functions, where I lock it with that. So yeah, yeah, I can totally do that. Okay, so key, resource key map, get generate key map, get key map. So probably what I want to do is um, read the key map here. So we don't need this anymore. Or I want to do it locally. From here, this goes down to where? And then I reset it. So this, uh, it's just this section right here, basically. That, this is the key map right here. We move on down to here. That's not even set yet, so I need to do something along the lines of, hey, you know, binary file header star equals I mean, it's literally just that, isn't it? like that p file header there you got that i want to do that resource key map equals that and then we say down here that the resource key map equals standard move of this that is p importer resource key map of that so we only read it once and it's in memory and the pointers of the data is back into the file itself classic I don't actually check like if the file is large enough or is the right footprint or anything like that yet either which is not great <sighs> oh well. Like that. Make sure that works. It does. Uh, that would have just barely done an. Export. So let's just do sha 512, 512 of the data A and test. Still the same. Perfect. That's another slight improvement there. Okay. Is there anything else I can think of for this? Key map for that, maybe. No, because again, the components just happen once. What I can do, though, actually, is... Uh, generate... Map based on standard byte start star 
data. And that's literally it. Okay. Wouldn't it be? Because, yeah, 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 it would be. That, the map. Let me just kind of roll on down to here. Find that. Almost. Bring it up here. This will be already in the place that we need it. So that. Get rid of that. P data. We'll move that. A little bit of shortcut out of here. Get key map. Whoop. Get key map of key file data plus this. And then we can do string view, which takes me back up to here, which allows me to do this if we get. Ah, actually, one thing I do need to do, though, is I need to know how many bytes I burn through. Read size. If they're here, we close that, otherwise. That, 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 or actually, no, we don't even need that, do we? No, 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 no. Otherwise, star read size equals what? Size of view in 16t plus p count times. Plus the key length. Key length, key count times this stuff. Just kind of make sure that's really obvious. <clears throat> Don't actually care. Hmm. Okay.
I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, it shouldn't matter. Total data size should just basically go down to zero if there was nothing there. Really? Come on, man. Really? Key count equals one. Uh, okay, key count one times plus key length. Um, Sorry, no key count. Key length is massive for some reason. I don't know why. D6, that's correct. That's when we're doing the resource one. That's fantastic. Do we come back through key length is we have one key. And it is truly massive for some reason. Did I have... Was key length down here like a different size? Uh... Key count of 16. Key length of 16. Content. Oh, hold on. What am I doing here? That's my bad. Nope, no, 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 that's just bad. Nope, nope, no, no. I made it worse somehow. Key count, okay, at this point, P data equals that, yeah. I'm at the entity data offset. First things first, it's the key map. Show me. 118. 56 times 2 plus 8. Yeah, okay. data size is 86 and we're somehow burning right through it immediately um 74 okay I misaligned somewhat. Okay. So by the time I reach here, what's the total data size supposed to be? Just kind of... Mm -hmm. Just kind of do this. Can we...
first time through. We are expecting a value of 84. And instead, we've got a value of 86. Got an extra two bytes hanging around from something. 16. Plus six, six, ah. Uh. There's a 16 there and a 16 there, then the repeated data. Yep. Yep. There we go. Okay. Okay, we'll go bring up a little look. No, no extra leaks. Let's get that in play. Good near seventy lines. Hmm. Is there anything else I can really think of off the top of my head to do for refinements of binary importer? The answer is not really. Anything I could do about headers? No, 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 no. These are all pretty much required. That's a C assert. What's this? Does that do anything? Not really. Oh, yes, it did. This was going to be for something, but kind of lost now, isn't it? Adding others, not really. So I think that's basically it for this, really. That was a bunch of refinements. So what I'll just actually just do is get commit order F. What I'm going to do, since this is just refinements for that, and I still have it all in the separate branch, I am just going to get rid of that. And just fix this up into the original implementation of the binary importer here. And there we go. That complete. Let's just double, again double check that you know memory leaks not really on the table. Build and bow, bring up. That's great. It does that stuff. It has group lists. They appear to be correct. Yes. Entity list. That's got all this content. That's also got all the content. Fantastic. Fantastic. So I'll call it. At that. So until next time, cheers.